Hey you guys, hope you're doing well. Today is the first video in my series of what happens when you wear the wrong lines for your body. I'm a flamboyant gamine. That just means that I am shaped like a young child. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> that just means that I have a mixture of alternating lines or opposite lines, a mixture of femininity and masculinity, all kind of Frankensteined together within my own body, um, with just a little bit more yang leaning. So for example, my body is predominantly yang lines, long, narrow, sharp bones. But then in my face, I have a lot of yin elements. So like my eyes are large, I have fuller lips, my cheekbones are delicate, my jawline is delicate. And all of that together is like a big mishmash of pieces that make me <laughs> flamboyant gamine. As a flamboyant gamine, I have the opportunity to wear a lot of different looks and I can really pull off, so to speak, a lot of different lines. So I can wear lines that are pure yin as long as they are mixed with yang and as long as they're like in the right part of my body and everything like that. But in this video, I'm going to see what happens when I wear pure yin lines everywhere. So basically, I'm gonna go to the store, I'm going to find romantic and theatrical romantic lines and see what happens to my body and the proportions there. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey you guys, so I'm here at Target right now because I'm going to be looking for clothes that are not my lines. Today I'm going to be looking for pure yin lines. So just to recap what romantic lines are like, they are rounded, they are light and airy and weightless, they are um, pretty fitted I would say, like they taper at the wrist, at the ankles, as well as having waist emphasis. The idea would be to repeat the natural curves that you would have as a romantic that I don't have, so this should be very fun. I'm going to be looking for clothing items that are not very structured, that have a, a weightless femininity to them, Colors that are more gentle, muted, maybe even some floral patterns and delicate details like lace. So that's what I'm going for today. I'm pretty excited about this. I think it's going to be fun. And who knows, like maybe I'll find a style that I like and be able to finesse it into more flamboyant gamine lines. Today I even did my makeup a little bit more romantic-esque, so essentially I removed most of the shadows that are in my face naturally, and I removed that weighted intensity that I have naturally in the high contrast look that I have in favor of a more like kind of pinky, rosy, um, doll-like look. It's a little more rounded, it's a little little more light and shimmery, like I've put on highlighter for the first time in a while and it's kind of glittery, I don't even think you can tell. But I have like highlighter on and shimmery eyeshadow and like all that kind of stuff and I didn't fill in my eyebrows as heavy as I normally would. So that should help. Even with like jewelry and stuff, like I tried to wear something a little more pearlescent, a little more, you know, romantic. So and not romantic, but it just, you know, you know what I mean. Let's go ahead and get started on this journey. It is raining, it is a gloomy day, but we're gonna make this work, we're gonna have fun. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so let's talk about this first shirt that I found. The things that make it predominantly yin are the small delicate floral pattern, the delicate coloring of it, so it's an off-white tone, it has these pastel blue flowers. It has ruffles around the neckline. I believe they would call this one a peasant top, if I remember correctly. Um, it has an empire waist, so to speak. It's also cropped. It has these flowy, light, airy, billowing sleeves. It's the most yin thing I feel like I've ever put on my body. I was doing some research about romantic 
lines for like the lower half like for bottoms and generally you can wear anything that's like high-waisted anything that would be curve hugging and mom jeans fit in that category because they taper at the ankle a lot of the time but they are you know they hold everything where it needs to be so um, I just just decided to keep my denim that I normally wear. This video doesn't cover shoes or jewelry or anything like that. It's just like the clothing items. But yeah, look at what happens with, when I wear this shirt. I look so disproportionate. <laughs> I can't handle it. It's so funny. Yeah, it does nothing good for me. There's no structure or weight to it and since my bones are pre predominantly yang and since my flesh is yang in my body I have like there's nothing really that is yin like I mean I think one of you commented once that you know all women have some softness to them because they're women and I think that I agree with that so I do have some elements of softness but it's not like yin flesh. It's still this yang, yang flesh. So. Hey. Uh, I'm filming the second one. Would you like to come say hi? <laughs> hey there, beautiful people of the internet. Oh my god. You guys, this is Kelly. I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram, I will put my handle right here. If you can handle that, <laughs> then you know a little bit about Kelly because I post about him. So anyway, uh, there's there's that. He tends to interrupt my videos when he's home, and so I cut him out of them. But not this time, right, babe? Babe, tell me what you think of this this top. I'm gonna have it up on the screen. Tell me what you think it does. Yeah, this is Kira Knightley not wearing her lines. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean. And Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't <laughs> think you can really see that, but which just goes to but show she that she didn't pick out that dress, the evil pirate cat. Well, sure. Yeah, she totally would have picked out something else. Anyway, you don't have to add that in there if you don't want. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so let's get back to it. We're on the second look, and it's this top. It's a. Uh, a beautiful color. It's like this beautiful mint color, which is why I was kind of drawn to it in the first place. I loved all the small details on it. They, and the ruffles around the neckline. I thought this would be a good shirt for like theatrical romantic potentially. Um, especially after I tucked it in and gave it some waist emphasis. Like I could see that being a really fun look for theatrical romantic. Now I would say that theatrical romantic lines are a little bit more tricky for me to figure out because they seem a lot like gamine lines, actually. I know that it's different, but the theatrical romantic lines definitely seem more to me like they're, they're, they are romantic lines, yin lines, but with more detail to them. And so, and potentially even a little bit more structure to them as well. So not as floaty or light fabrics, but maybe like a little bit heavier weight to them. Um, which is why I think this shirt um, looked okay on me. It didn't look great because I don't have enough softness in my body to support it. And also the high neckline being in a gamine, I can wear a high neckline and it, it suits my body. But I feel like the ruffled detail around the neck and around the sleeves um, is really what kind of threw things off for me. Um, and also just like this imprecise billowiness of it. Um, I think also made it look not so good on me. Third one, I gave it a go because I saw this picture and I thought of theatrical romantics and it was just this like almost European high neckline. Lots and lots of detail on the top, but it had this like sweeping line as opposed to a more geometric shape. The way that it's sheer and also the way that the sleeves cinch with like a, an elastic around. Um, adds this like fittedness and I think that would be supported beautifully by yin flesh But you can see here that it just makes me look very broad in the shoulders. I would say and um, All of this like 
ruffled detail, the pleats that are in it just don't, they aren't harmonious. And it is cropped, but which would help as a flamboyant mean, but the way that it's cropped isn't like very like block, like a <laughs> it's um, again elasticated as its crop and that creates another rounded detail which again is opposite to my body that it doesn't do anything rounded ever. Next outfit. Okay this one was interesting to me. I really liked these pants for romantics because there were two pleats in them that would look so beautiful if you have hips and or, well, wide hips. Obviously, I have hips. I'm a human. But I thought it would look so beautiful on a romantic because of the cropped leg and also just the way that the hips were shaped with that pleat. It was very high-waisted as well. But also, they weren't like a pure black. They had softness to them because they were like a washed black, so they looked a little bit faded. Um, but you know that they're still like black pants. They're not like gray pants, you know. The shirt was definitely a romantic top, potentially theatrical romantic because of that nice sharp V there. And it's not so much like a sweeping, caressing line as much as it is like a boom, boom, here we are. And, you know. <laughs> but this is where things start to get off the path of flamboyant meanness and into the romantic space. It's the sheer light fabric and it's the ruffles. The ruffles on the shoulders really draw a disproportionate amount of attention to how wide my shoulders are and how bony they are. And then they billow in the sleeves as well and have like that elasticated wrist again, which I could imagine looking really beautiful on somebody when if they're pattern in their body was circles and not like triangles. <laughs> so like if you had more roundness in your flesh and in your bones. So that's my analysis of all of those tops. But I was not satisfied as I will show you in this next clip. So I'm back in the car. I just left Target and I'm a little shook because um, one, they don't really have a lot of good options for romantics in my opinion. Like I... If I were romantic and I were going shopping, I don't know if I would really find anything that I liked at Target. There were a lot of options for tops, but for bottoms, like I couldn't really find any good skirts, couldn't really find any good like pants. I found like one pair that I'll talk about. Yeah, it was really, I, I think I found one dress that was kind of form fitting, but a lot of things it seemed like they were made more for like natural types, maybe soft natural. So I'll probably, have, I'll be coming back to film some of those styles. But yeah, I'm like, hmm, maybe somewhere else has better clothes for romantics. But I don't know. Obviously, like when I put them on, I'm not a romantic type, I'm not theatrical romantic. So the pieces are gonna look off on me and, and that's kind of the point. But I'm thinking maybe I'll run into Kohl's, which is like right down the strip mall, <laughs> right down the, the plaza. And I'm gonna see if there's more options. Yeah, also something that's not super, like that's not too girly or too um, frilly, because I know not all romantics want to have that frilly, girly, frou-frou kind of a look, which is a stereotype for them. And so I was looking for pieces that would be more timeless while still following those yin lines. And so I'm going to see if I can go into Kohl's and find anything. I'm particularly going to be looking for dresses because I could only find shirts here at Target. So I'm going to go in there and check that out. Okay, so let's go into some detail about these clothes that I found at Kohl's. I had a feeling that I'd be able to find something that would work out a little bit better and something that maybe would work better for a theatrical romantic as well. So essentially I found this one dress here <laughs> and I thought actually it was going to look really good on me. I thought it, you know, there's like a lot of cool detail here, there's like some triangular shapes in it and then I put it on and I was like, wow. Do you guys, do you see what I, what I see? <laughs> so, um, basically, 
this dress did nothing for me. It was fitted, sure. It had V shapes in it, which I know is good for my body. It had, you know, cool detail to it, um, but it, it just was not the right kind of stuff. And here, I think, lies part of the difference between flamboyant gamine lines and theatrical romantic lines. It's this idea that uh, even though the lines are bold for theatrical romantic and even though, you know, you can have brighter colors and more and more detail, which is generally good for gamines to have bold colors, detail, I think that this dress really shows that the body of a theatrical romantic is definitely more curvy. Like, that's just, that's the big deal. Like, I put this dress on expecting that it was going to look okay, and it looked so bad. Like, it made my bones in my shoulders look even more bony. It made my rib cage look even more bony. It made me look really wide. It really proved to me that I don't have an hourglass shape. Like, it's just, you can see that if there were, if there was a bit more softness, if there was a bit more curvature to my bone structure, then this dress would have just like hugged it and wrapped around it and just really just made it, would have made it look really good and and it would have followed the same pattern of my body, you know, but it didn't. <laughs> and it made me look, it looked so separate. I just couldn't, I just, it, it blew my mind. But here is the last look. Oh golly. Look, this is just terrible on me. Oh gosh. This is probably the worst one. Romantics, would you even wear this? Honestly. Like, this didn't work on me at all. But I, I'm like, okay, look at this skirt. Um, it was still, it was a little bit too big for me. I tried to, like, cinch it in the back. But it's like, man, if I had hips, this would look really good. <laughs> it just didn't, it just, oh. Hmm. But here's how this would work for a romantic or theatrical romantic, which is part of why it doesn't work on me. It has no structure to it at all. It's all like ruffles and tulle and lace and floatiness, and my bones have weight to them. Even though they're small and narrow, my bones and my flesh have some level of, um, it, they have some, they're yang. You can see what happens when I put pure yin on pure yang there, and um, it just all looks separate on me. It does not look good at all. But I can see that looking really beautiful on somebody like um, like a stable blonde could probably wear this skirt and look really beautiful. Or who's the classic uh, romantic example? Marilyn Monroe. I don't even feel like Marilyn Monroe would wear this though. Let's be real. Maybe like Drew Barrymore or someone like that wearing a skirt like this. This top I picked because it had so much lace and so much detail. Um, nice rounded neckline. It had sheer sleeves. So there you go, you guys. This is what happens. I did my very best to find all the clothes that I could, and um, this is the result. This is what happens when flamboyant gamine wears pure yin lines. Hmm. <laughs> so like, if you're flamboyant gamine, and you're like, but I really did love that one shirt that you put on. Like, there's got to be a way for me to wear it. I was so drawn to that shirt or whatever. Like, there are ways that you can wear yin lines. They just have to be supported with a lot of yang lines. So put on some edgier boots. Put on a blazer. Wear ripped up jeans. Just kind of make it a little bit more rock and roll. And then you'll probably feel a bit more, it'll feel a bit more harmonious. It also depends on where you have your yin in your body. So I don't have yin in my body at all. It's all in my face. So any yin elements can show up through like my makeup. Like I tried to do my makeup that day without any harsh lines and I put like sparkle and all that kind of stuff and it doesn't look too bad. <laughs> it actually like the blush looked pretty harmonious and having a more like bare, fresh face also looks pretty good. If I want like a more feminine line, I generally um, start pulling clothes from naturals because they are soft yang and so I can kind of pull from them if I want more of a like boho ethereal feminine look. Um, but for the most part I just try and stick to my flamboyant green lines because at the end of the day that's what makes me feel 
the most beautiful and honestly feel the most feminine like you don't have to use feminine lines to feel feminine so and that's another topic maybe I should ta talk more about that comment down below if you want me to talk more about that that's it for this one you guys I hope you enjoyed seeing <laughs> all of that drama ensue as I tried to be romantic for a day it didn't go too well <laughs> If you are curious about what's next, definitely subscribe to my channel. Or if you loved any of those pieces on me, definitely let me know. Um, sometimes it helps to have a different eye look at you. Um, so if you feel like any of those pieces actually looked okay on me, tell me which ones in the comments. I love hearing what you guys think. I hope you guys have a great week or weekend or whenever you're watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.